Drip, drip goes the IV. There she is, all hooked up. And um, taking her pills now. Got our little crew members here. She already gobbled up about seven, maybe eight. And she's in a daze. Ooh, and she has a headache. And I, I look funny too. And uh, she thinks the med is causing a headache, but she's usually right. But let's see what happens. And look at those beautiful eyebrows. She I had some energy before, so I went to get my eyebrows and my... No mustache. <laughs> so she's good. And, uh, uh. yeah, we went to the mall for a little bit. We got those beautiful eyebrows threaded. And here, let's see how she does this. I don't know if I'm putting everybody on one spoon. I'm kind of tempted to because I have four, no five, six, seven pills, energy. I may choke myself. One, but two, three, four, five. Can I fit the last two, you think? I may wind up six, gagging, seven. She's but we'll see. And then water. It worked. And she's a pro. Where <laughs> is you want to be close to something right now? Okay, there you go. Okay, let's take a little hospital. Yeah, it's quite a hospital, I guess. Propped up. Pillow's like a wall. She's having a migraine. Doing IVs. Guys, good morning. It's Friday. Um really vlog yesterday and Rosario showed you guys I think me doing my IVs in therapy really really quick but um yesterday was the first day doing uh chest BT again I did two of those and uh did sort of light ones not too heavy and everything went well got some mucus out of my lungs after that so that was good and no bleeding thank god and um yeah yesterday was a bad morning I was vomiting and I had a bad migraine, and um, mostly the vomiting was from the IV antibiotics. And I've just been feeling really out of it and really yucky from them. So I am taking uh, anti-nausea through the IV before each infusion now, so that seems to be helping. And um, yeah, but that metal also makes me drowsy. So it's just kind of like an ongoing thing. So, I'm kind of just exhausted all the time. But, I said good morning, but it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I just finished having some breakfast. And, um, I'm going to get started with a chest BT. And, uh, Rosario's just finished taking a nap, and he's going to head back to work. So, uh, that's really what's going on here. And running on the IVs every eight hours. And, uh... I took some headache pills a little while ago to help with the migraines, and um, that's really it. And today is my last day of prednisone, of the prednisone taper. So, um, yeah, I started feeling a little bit of chest tightness before. That could just be because I didn't get to an, do an albuterol nebulizer yet, so we'll see how that is. Hopefully that's all it is. And um, that's really it. That's all that's going on. So I am just taking it easy. I just feel exhausted and beat up. And I was just torturing everybody yesterday. I had my mother running around, Rosario running around. And then um, my sister-in-law came upstairs. After she got home from work, she was helping me while they were working and stuff. And because uh, yesterday I just felt like hell. It was just a bad day. And then my nurse was here. And, uh, for a little while because she had to draw bloods and stuff and uh then the port needle was out of whack late last night and I fixed it temporarily and then this morning the nurse came and she fixed that and redid it and put a new needle in and everything so um yeah that's really it so I think because of the chest PT it kind of whacked you know moved the needle out of place and it got all wacky on us so Hopefully that doesn't happen. I put something around it to protect it last night, but 
it's still kind of shifted, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'll try and protect it a little bit better, and uh, yeah, that's really it, so. I was just taking it easy, and I'm almost falling asleep on you guys, so. Um, yep, I'm gonna go stop my therapy, and uh, before you know it, another couple of hours will be IV time again, and uh, that's really all. Well guys, check out the cook over here. He's got some yummy, delicious uh, broccoli rub in oh, yeah. that part. Mm, we just steamed it, now we're gonna saute it. Some real steam you got going on there. The finished product, broccoli rub, pasta pan sauce, Jill doing her slurp. Mm, it's delicious. And that's it in the aftermath. <laughs> Let me show you guys a quick time comparison. So we've been eating for about three, so four minutes. I have left <coughs> my plate. Not so much still has left. So we're moving around so they could see that it's nothing in there. <laughs> Appetite is good when you have certain medications going. Yep. Hey guys, it's bedtime. And Jill's That's attached time. to her ball. We're gonna ball. time it. And then we wanna show you something funny before we go to bed. And um we had I don't didn't even I didn't even say hello today. Oh yeah, we didn't say hi yet. I don't but, think um, I said hello. Hi. <laughs> hi. It's Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, it was just one of those days today. And my a lot port of port complications. Didn't work. I missed two doses of IVs. And the nurse has come back and um she had to access now the bottom port and pretty much it's working nice and sluggish. Hmm. The meds have taken double the time and the end result is the port needs to be replaced. Yep. Which we know, but now, but now we, we may, really know again. May get a peripheral so, hopefully. So I'm asking the doctor so. if she can <clears throat> put orders in to get a peripheral IV, you know, like the regular IVs you see at the hospital that they put in. And um yeah, maybe we can stick it out with one of those for the next couple of weeks. Well, Jill was upset at my uh, camera skills, so she stormed off to bed. There she is. Hey guys, remember the blanket that Jill got me for Christmas? Rubbing her eyes. Well, here, check this out. Yes, indeed. <laughs> they look a little distorted from here, but we got uh, the little alien people. We have Woody right here, and they fix his face because he looked a little weird. And then we have uh, Buzz. And there she is. And that's my pillow face. Of course, I'm a big Toy Story fan. She hooked me up with all different Toy Story merchandise, which is pretty cool. So, but with that being said, we're gonna say good night now. Good night. Good evening. Give me food. Or actually, almost midnight. Almost a good morning. Sitting here having some pancakes. Yo, got her pancakes. The pancake chef cooked us some delicious pancakes. Now, there's one left. A couple on the bottom. A couple of stragglers better. laying around. Getting ready to do her IV. He's coming for me. I'm coming for her. I he asked ready. me, ready? He Get asked me syringes. if I was ready for my anti-nausea medication. Got the medication all set up right there. And he's ready to help me with my Dexcom continuous glucose monitor that's going right. in this arm. He's ready to get me. Oh, and here's my peripheral IV. Because my port just decided to just not work anymore on us, so nurse came and put the peripheral in <coughs> um, about a couple of hours ago, so maybe even an hour and a half ago, whatever it was. So, uh, yeah, my veins feel nice and cold. Trying not to have a terribly long night tonight. Last night we went to bed, it was like 2.45. Oh, that was so horrible. It was a tough night. The IVs have been taking... Um, Three hours. No, more like four hours yeah. to At run instead hours. of one hour. So, so it's every eight hours. So I've been hooked up 
and the saline has been taken um, like three hours instead yeah. of two hours. So I've been hooked up like a total of 18 hours per instead day. of per day instead of like seven hours. So that's a lot. So you figure out the math and then picture that pole being hooked up to the pole for 12 hours. And then we had to take the pole and put it on top of the table mm -hmm. because we needed more gravity, more height for it to run. So it's just been, it's just been torture, yeah. literally torture. So we're gonna. But here we are. It's another night. Hook and her up and uh, get started. Well, hello vlog. It's Tuesday and it's lunchtime. Past lunchtime, but lunchtime for me. I am having some delicious Chinese eggplant and brown rice. It's pretty good. And I got my IVs going. My peripheral IV. It's holding up pretty good. So, uh, yeah, and I'm attached to the pole over here. You can see behind me. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on here. And, uh, slept late. I got some good rest. So, um, yeah, don't mind me. I'm a little disheveled, my hair and everything. I've just been resting. Well, rested earlier, and then I've just been doing medications, IVs, therapy, chest BT, nebulizers, and, uh, but... Breathing-wise, I'm feeling a little bit better. I have a little chest tightness, but um, I'm hoping the uh, lung infection's clearing up a little bit. So, uh, yeah. That's all that's really going on here. And uh, we're supposed to be getting more snow again tomorrow. Or first day of spring, I think, is tomorrow. I don't know where first day of spring is this week. I'm not too up on stuff like that. I'm not too good with that stuff, but that's what I hear on the news. Yeah, we're supposed to be getting snow, so uh, I was hoping the snow was over, but apparently it's not. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But I'm going to try and make a few phone calls after I have lunch and um, try and re, um, not even refill, actually, try and get, um, so as you guys know, I'm on the Simdeco, the new medication that got approved. I'm getting it through... Um, my doctor's office right now through Compassionate Use Program, but now I actually got a letter in the mail that um, it was approved through my health insurance, my health coverage approved it, so now I can start getting it through my pharmacy and through my own health coverage, which is awesome. So I am going to uh, call a pharmaceutical company, they help out with stuff like that and setting all that up. They have um, people that help with that, which is pretty cool through Vertex Pharmaceuticals. So, um, they left me a message, so I'm going to call them back, and uh, I should be able to be getting it through my health coverage. So, I'm going to work on that in a little while, and get that going, and, um, yeah, I think that's really it. So, I have a few phone calls to make after, and, um, it's my exciting afternoon, and I will watch the bag trip. Hello, hello vlog, it's Wednesday, and it's a snow day over here. And Rosario has just come in and made me a snowman from outside. It looks more like a duck. He has chickpea eyes. And it shows body. And a carrot nose. Oh, his eye just fell. <laughs> 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 he lost an eye. His eyes just fell. Oh, that was great. Let's put his eye back in. <laughs> I kept asking him, but what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you going in the yard? He took his boots from the front to the back. That's great. Oh, thank you for the uh <laughs> oh, it's not the eye just fell. <laughs> he right. lost another eye. Oh. He'll be in the kitchen. Let's thank you. Oh, well, we're keeping him in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna last too long without being frozen. You have to put him outside every now and then to to make him reform. Anyway, we had lunch a little while ago, and uh, that's where he got the chickpea from. He made a chickpea salad. And uh, we had sandwiches, and my IV is going. There it is. Here I am. But, all right, I guess we'll show you what happens with our snowman later. It's treadmill time. Just getting some movement. And we got quite a bit of snow out there. So, uh, they're not really in workout clothes, more like I'm in pajamas, but. Just getting some movement for my legs. 